<laughs> hey everybody, I'm Dez. I'm D. And today we're about to do our Friendsgiving potluck dish, which is gonna be some baked chicken wings. So we're just about to show you right now how we're gonna prep everything. Let's get the season. Second pack. Original Tony's. If you're from Louisiana, you know all about that Tony Satchel. You feel me? So we gonna we gonna throw some Tony's on this. We gonna move this around this bowl. We don't need, we don't need too much of it. We're just gonna move it around. Get a little bit of there it. There we go. Yep. We gonna throw a little bit of this in there. We ain't gonna do too too much. Y'all know garlic powder powder is overpowering. Smoked paprika. We're gonna throw that in there. I love paprika, so it's gonna be droused a little bit. How do you say it? Worcestershire? Mm-hmm. Worcestershire sauce. We'll throw a little bit of this in there. We ain't gonna overpower, we just gonna douse it. We're gonna move it around. Move it around. So we got our season on there now. Just moving it around. Right, so Hawaiian with tropical fruit fruit juices. This is what we gonna marinate it with. Throw that sauce over there. That marinated shit. All over it. All we gotta do is close it tight. Put this in the fridge right here. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, so what we got? We are about 18 hours in on the marination of the wings. Okay. And we're gonna put them in the oven. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna preheat the oven. I'm gonna preheat it. Cause I'm gonna keep it in there for about three hours. So we're gonna put it on 385. Treat. We're going to spread it. So, even though it's not a stick, I always put okay, so you grab the tongs and start putting these in here. Should be fine, huh? That one pan should be fine. I doubt it, but we're gonna see. Um, because I, I like to space them out so they can breathe on their own. You know, one, you know what I mean? You mm hear -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to do the drum list up top if I can find more. And then we're gonna chop it off with some parsley flakes. guys we are back we are back we are back Ding. all right so a couple hours later voila and there you have it there you have it there you have it heavy 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 so we're gonna make a Probably a side to that, I don't know. I was like this way. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Ooh, it's tender. Ooh. Oh, Lord. Hello. Okay, so 
We got the water ball in. We're gonna do us some roasted garlic mashed potatoes for a side. So what I do is I boil two cups of water and then I turn off the burner. So once I turn the burner off, I just pour it in here. In the up side to side motion, moving around so you can get the clunks out. But I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon, one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna melt in that bad boy. Whipped up mashed potatoes. Yep. Done in a matter of five minutes. Okay. Today we have our Friendsgiving dish completed. So as y'all know, we make our baked chicken wings and we have our um, roasted garlic potatoes and we have some Hawaiian rolls and right here we have some cinnamon sugar butter. Yeah, show them the dish. There oh, we go. This is going in, right? Yeah. Okay. All right then, so might as well, uh, what you drinking? Uh, same old, same old. They need to sponsor me because I love these. Body Armor Strawberry Banana. I love that flavor too. Um, and yeah, I know. I'm on my Clear American. <laughs> uh, this is the Black Cherry flavor. All right. So, uh. Same grace, but if you want to see it again. Uh, no. Okay, we don't do, we don't do the grace thing. Well, I mean, we are thankful though, but today we're going to, uh. <laughs> We're gonna, um, That's just something that I I can't keep up with, so it's not something that I've always done as a kid. Don't or, judge us, man. It's just it's, it's, it's nothing personal. Yeah, you know, we just okay. Um, I feel like he he know. Today know? we're gonna just speak about um, what we thank him for. Yeah. While, while we eat, while we uh, chill with y'all, so yeah, real quick, you know, and then we are gonna see what everybody else is cooking today. All right. So, one big major thing that I'm thankful for is I was able to get custody of a mother and brother on my mom path. And the reason why I'm thankful because um, my mom was a foster parent which is the reason why I think that lingered on me to be a foster parent also. He was a foster parent for like 25 plus years, so we grew up with um, foster kids. So all the tricks and trades that they do, I know about it. So when my mom passed, uh, my birth brother was still young, he was 13. And, um, they was trying to put him back in the system and I wouldn't let that happen. I was like, we, we all, he know, you know what I'm saying? My mom, me, my sister, you know what I'm saying? We all, he knew, you know what I'm saying? So just to put him back in the system when he been with us ever since he was two weeks old, you know what I'm saying? It, it didn't make no sense. So I ended up getting custody of him and he still with me right to this day seven years later so i'm thankful for that even though i went through so much to even get them what you think um i'm thankful that um i still have um my family um i'm thankful for growth um i've been in some very bad predicaments in life and I, I think that I've grown as a as a woman and I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful for my career. Um but more importantly I'm just really thankful for my family. I'm 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 happy to still have uh the people that I have here. Um and I'm thankful that um uh, the whole uh 2020 
chaos with the pandemic, COVID, uh, everything is just, I mean, even though it's challenging and it has everybody, I feel like everybody's nerves is at an all time high. I still haven't forgot the grace of God where I, I, I feel like I have nobody to lean on. I know that I could still lean on him in times of trouble. So, and I feel like if I make him my dwelling, then you know, in the bad times, then I'll be all right. And same thing for everybody else in my family. Um, Y'all may not know we experienced not one, but two hurricanes and everybody has to start over. Nobody has the same home that they had before. And everybody had to relocate or has to relocate. I'm fortunate to be able to have relocated already, but my family is still all scattered in Louisiana. But I do know that in due time, this too shall pass and everything will be all right. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. I, um, I am thankful for my three children and for all the children that's in my life. Not just only my biological, um, my adopted daughter. And my son's little sister, which I've been taking care of her ever since she was five months old. She does know her biological father, but you know how some fathers are, they don't deal with their children, so I took her in as mine, so I make sure everything that needs to be done as a father for her is done. So I'm grateful for my kids, and the reason why I'm grateful for my kids is because I used to be in the streets a lot. And when I had found out that um, I was having my first child, I just completely stopped everything, the habits that I had, like going out every night, smoking, drinking, you know what I'm saying, being in the streets with my own boys, fighting, gang ties and all that stuff, I just completely just stopped it and just focus on now that I, now I'm having a child, I have to be a father. So I'm thankful for them because it changed my life. It changed how I moved, how I did everything. So that's another thing that I'm, I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for, um, you know, being, having the opportunity to be a foster parent and meeting my adopted daughter and, and knowing that a child don't have to be biologically yours for you to love them unconditionally. So I'm thankful for every all, all the kids that's in my life. Um. How does it taste? Do it taste like the honey and the, the wine taste a little bit? Mm -hmm. Like a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Another thing, um, I'm thankful for it's like genuine uh, people that I've came in contact with are, I wouldn't say necessarily friends, but like just knowing good people, people that showing, that show love to me and my family or to me in general. Uh, you just never know like who will really show up for you. And I have a lot of people show up for me and I'm really grateful for that as well. I'm thankful that a year ago, I was um, in a state of mind. Uh, I don't want a relationship anymore. I don't want anything to do with a relationship. I don't want, I don't want the commitment no more. I just don't want it. Then I met this. Grateful for meeting her. I'm grateful for you too, baby. That's sweet. Well, y'all, make sure y'all hit the notification bell. Y'all subscribe if you haven't. Leave some comments down below for what you're thankful for. And any other video ideas and any questions y'all have for our very first Q&A video. And we just want to wish, we want to do a special shout out to Big Belly Bob for letting us be a part of this, um, this Friendsgiving potluck celebration. And we just want to wish y'all an official Happy Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving.